Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anne. Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Marshall. Mm -hmm. What did we do last episode? We... I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't remember either. Oh, we defeated the dragon and got the dragon cheers. Oh, fuck yeah. That's pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, like always, I said I was going to do something. Bring the, the two, the dried and the fresh serpent body parts to the divine child of rejuvenation to do that secondary ending it seems like but before that there's actually a bunch of other things i want to do including an area that i missed back around the gun fort um i also have the gourd seed to use that i got a while ago and i just came here to the dilapidated temple to see if emma would be inside and what i found is that nobody is inside so let's explore Oh, it's up to me to do my own tools. Huh. Where did they go? Where did they go? I wonder if this person has anything to say about it. Like, oh yeah, I saw him pack up and leave. Sorry. <laughs> Nasty. That's nice.俺もいよいよ潮時だが、旦那、まだ飽きないが必要かね。ああ、物資のじいさんなら消えちまったぜ。ふらふらと炎がどうとか言いながら、多分戦場に向かったんだろう。俺には関係のないことだがよ。battl
I'm going to save up my five skill points because just looking through all the things, the most exciting thing to me right now is this one like super ability that costs nine. It's by far the most expensive thing anywhere. I think that's most, next most expensive is six. Um, a sword technique that unleashes powerful shockwaves, cause spirit emblems to use. Its namesake comes from a large eddy of distant cloud forming near the headwaters, the fountainhead spiral. Tomoe would watch her young master as he gazed longingly at the coiling clouds. The sight meant everything to her. Everything. Deliver nine dancing consecutive attacks. These attacks emit powerful shockwaves. Sounds really cool. Sounds like a super version of Floating Passage. Was that what it was called? Yeah, Floating Passage. Sounds like a super version of that. I love that just because of how it looks. It's really satisfying. Yeah. So we'll see if we can get to nine skill points before the end of the game. <laughs> I don't know how close to the end we are. Okay, next thing to do. I missed a place at the gun fort. Um, it came partially from me just thinking about the fact that I'm getting blue uh, lapis lazuli. Not blue lapis lazuli, it's always blue. I'm getting lapis lazuli. Before I've even gotten any of the fulminated mercury. And I was thinking like that sort of seems like a gun fort kind of thing. Like a gunpowdery thing. That combined with the fact that somebody commented saying I missed something at the gun fort, which, I mean, that episode is so far in the past that it it's hard to tell whether I actually missed something, you know, now, if I've still missed it or if I found it later, so I wasn't sure. But I went exploring around here, and it turns out I did miss some stuff. So I went backwards from the gun fort, like going back here, and I just kept killing these enemies a couple times just for the fun of it, and I actually got fulminated mercury once. I don't know from who, I don't know why, I don't know if it's a super rare drop or what, but I got one Fulminated Mercury from one of these enemies. Um, and I also noticed a couple items out here that I missed that I want to get, so let's do it. Let's fight these enemies. I haven't fought them in a while. What? Where am I? There we go. Oof. Oh, wow. Oh, hi. Shout out to that random background character. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, hold on. God, I keep getting stuck on something. Get me out of here. All right, I need to kill you. You are just messing up everything. I accidentally killed them the first time, and I wonder if they dropped the mercury. Oh, no. That'd be fucked up if true. Fucked up if true. Because I killed all these other enemies like four or five more times and I never got any more mercury. Uh. Anyway, one of the things I missed is up here. Oh, what? I didn't realize I could go up here. And there's just, just an item up here. Ungo sugar. Exciting. Yes. The other one I spotted from here. It's like right where my head is. Yeah. Past the bridge. Ah, there's the item. Oh. Gotta go down. Yeah, this is right where I fought the snake eyes. Oh, man. Antidote powder. Exciting. <laughs> Back to the Gunford sculpture. So here's what I missed. Or here's where I first noticed it anyway. I went down here. And this is all I found before I looked down and saw that went nowhere. What I didn't realize is if you look up. There's a little bit of loot up there. Oh. And I tried to jump 
a couple times. Like, do this and see if there's, like, a point to grapple to or something. There isn't. So then I figured you'd probably get there some other way. And, oh, you do. I think it's under the floorboards, under where we fought the centipede giraffe thing. Oh. I missed a pathway under the floorboards. Yeah, there's this little break here. I explored this before. There was an item down here, right there. And I think I missed this. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky, huh? Game designers, huh? I think they're so clever. Very sneaky. They are very clever. The game designers for this game. They are. Yeah, it's like a whole. It's like a whole thing. Cause I'm thinking the fact that I've gotten like no fulminated mercury. Mercury? Did I miss like a a huge part, like a mini boss or something? Oh. Okay, this goes here. But where does this go? Oh, <laughs> teasing just, the loot. Just a just an evil trickery. By the good, good game designers. Yeah, that's the back. The way I came, what I was seeing from down there. Your gex. Gekolini. Oh. Well, in that case, let's go back over here because we can drop down. just hanging out in the dark. That's what someone could say about you, Marsh. Oh, there's a gecko right there. Let's get you. Well, thanks. I don't know if I should use this antidote powder. I've only got 20. <laughs> oh, they're not coming down. Okay. Kunai, unai. Bead. Oh my god. That makes me feel like there maybe is a mini boss. Because you got three prayer beasts right now. Yeah, where do we get the fourth? Yeah. Isn't it cool that there's so much to find just by missing a tiny little hard to spot pathway under the floorboards? Yeah. This game really makes you like think of like what you can do. Oh, is that it? No, this way's new. Oh. Is that it? Is this it? Oh, wood. 
Silent Wood. Silent Wood. Si- she like Silent Hill, the knockoff. Silent, Silent Wood. Silent Wood. <laughs> That's why I call you Dick. So that was the end of all that we didn't find at the gun fort. So, seeing that we need at least one more pair bead to make another complete one, and like I still don't really have any fulminated mercury. I, like, I doubt you're supposed to just get fulminated mercury just by killing those enemies again and again until you get the occasional rare one? Seems really unlikely. For there to be no hint that the, it even exists there at all? Because, like, the first time I went through there, I didn't get any. Um, we looked at a wiki showing all the different sculptures and just saw if there was, like, a sculpture that I had missed. And... There is supposed to be a Guardian Apes Burrow, which is supposed to be somewhere near the Poison Pool. Uh, I think there's a grappling point that I missed, like inside of that huge lair that had all the blood in it, and we thought it was a boss fight arena, but there was nothing there. I think it's probably there. So this is the Poison Pool. I was just heading over here and noticed things are different. These are all knocked over. Like, there's still some of the enemies here. But, like, these were knocked over before. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Nani ni yarareta? Oh, zar. Kubi ga. Kubi ga. Did it come back alive? Eh. Again? After we left? Or is there another one? Yo. Does it have a head? <laughs> That's my question. No. That's the same one. It came back again. Right. Um, maybe I should get the anti-fear stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that is so cool. We could have so easily missed this. Yeah. Oh god, if we had missed this nasty shit. Okay, didn't we kill the ape after we found this place? Yes. So then why was there blood here? The blood is supposed to be from their wound, right? Yeah. Huh. I guess bad, bad game design there. Terrible. Uh... Let's take a thing. Ungo sugar. Yeah. Sure. So is your behavior the same as before? Yeah, it seems like it. How did I win the fight before? What did I do? I'm trying to remember. No memory. <gasps> uh, Sorry. Hmm.
Yo, what? Shit, they have friends. Oh no. This is a cool boss fight. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I think I should take another candy. Yeah. Maybe Aka Sugar. More damage? Yeah. Do you think it's... maybe... I'll try the other one. Maybe it's really weak. Oh, and the other one should be, um, scared of firecrackers. Yes! Because it got eyes. It's got a head, so... <laughs> now, should I use firecrackers and then try to kill it, or use firecrackers and kill the other one? Use firecrackers and try to kill it, maybe. Okay, that actually worked really well. So close! Game's homophobic right now. Game homophobic right now. Shit. Game hates gay people. Let's try again. Akko's sugar. Let's go. I tried to deflect, but I don't know, it just never worked. <laughs> Should I just restart? No! Yeah! Now you have a revive back. You're good. Where's your friend? Where does it come in? I almost wonder if I should only do that and not even attack it. Yeah. Then it recovers its posture, doesn't it? Yeah.
Damn. Damn. There we go. Um, what's something else I could use? That would just do some damage without much worry about anything. Um, I mean, I guess Phantom Kunai. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, I don't have any left. Oh. Uh, let's take another sugar. Mm. Of course. Damn. It's okay, you got to run. Alright, this is it. Yes! Yes, it was! Are you actually dead? So what, do you have two? So you have two? Motherfucker? How many bugs you got in you? That was a cool fight. Yeah. <sighs> Headless ape. The Headless Guardian Ape was a colossal beast plagued with the power of the Undying. Would have four beats now? I mean five? Did you get two prayer beats from that fight? Did I? Oh god! I did! Oh. Uh. Oh, I don't like that. Me neither. Oh. Oh! I'm glad I did that, holy shit. Might oh. it have come back? Right, now I've got the mortal sword. That's why I didn't die. Ah. If I had just waited, would they have just come back? Like, full-ass come back? Oh, Jesus. But Stowl Ninjutsu. This technique wreathes a blade in the victim's blood, extending its reach. Cause spirit emblems. Activated after a backstab death blow. The wolf discovered this technique upon beheading a foe with a mortal blade, forming a cursed sword from spilled blood. Though it bears likeness to the mortal blade, it cannot kill the undying. So it sounds like it makes it, it makes your normal sword look like the, the that, mortal. Yeah, it also sort of sounds like mortal draw. Yeah, but it, it seems to just make your sword like it's a temporary buff. Yeah. <clears throat> what does that cost? Seven spirit emblems. That's fair. Yeah. Remember puppeteer? Yeah. That's a cool ability. I like it. It's my favorite. Guardian Apes of Burrow. Is there anything else we didn't fully kill? God, I 
I don't know. I've been up here before, haven't I? Probably. Isn't that just where you continue through this area? Is it? Well, that enemy's new, of course, but have I been here? I think so. I would imagine so. This is the hidden forest, isn't it? I th think. So. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our beads. Oh fuck! Oh, I have two memories. And the beads. Damn. <laughs> There's the beads. Lone shadows are the Interior Ministry's most trusted agents. Each of leader. Masatsuna Oribe's 17 born has a specialty from poison to shinobi hounds. I, I'd specialize in shinobi hounds. Yeah. Confront memory of the headless ape. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with a mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. Now, even the flowers offered in tribute to her passing, have withered to dust. She got a friend, though, in the end. Yeah, someone came to their aid. Yeah. And then we killed that ape, and also her. <laughs> the divine dragon of the Ever Blossom came from the west long ago, eventually making its way to this land. Some parts of Ashina are exceedingly old. Water coursing through her ancient rocks and soil allowed the dragon to take root. Okay, so I also want to try just going back to the Divine Realm. Like, can I do it? Probably not, but let's see. The Shrine Maiden sleeps soundly. Okay. Sweet dreams, babe. Yeah. Okay, so let's try to find the sculptor. What happened over there? Guess we'll find out, huh? Is that all, like, smoldering? Yeah. Like there was a lightning strike, maybe? Hmm. Or no, they said, the person said that the sculptor was muttering something about the flame, right? Yeah. Hmm. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go, before giving this stuff to the Divine Child of Rejuvenation, I want to go find the sculptor who's apparently in the battlefield. All of the places in the outskirts are grayed out, so we have to start from the dilapidated temple and just continue basically the start of the game. Hmm. Didn't this bridge break in front of us? I think it did. Can I grapple that? Uh. Can you? I think the grapple point's burned off. Uh uh. Huh. Maybe I can't do this yet. Is there somewhere else to go? I don't think so. Yeah. Damn. I don't think there's any other way to access it. Yeah. Before I give the stuff to the Divine Child of Rejuvenation, I can get one upgrade, Leaping Flame. A loaded spear with an attached percussion hammer to create flame. You know, I'm getting the feeling that the sculptor really likes flame. <laughs> it's like, here's a spear, better, 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 shoots flames. Here's an axe, better, 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 now it shoots flames. <laughs> here's a flame gun, now it shoots more flames. <laughs> Okanaga's flame vent. They like flames. Yeah. Um, this one kind of looks like it's flame-based. Uh, prevents damage from fire-based attacks. Also prevents buildup of burn status. Okay, it doesn't shoot flame. It deals with flame. Uh, but yeah, let's get Leaping Flame. Um, Maybe now is a good time to get the Sen gun. Since, I, you know, mm. you have, you kind of like get into the point where like you don't really have use for money. You just get in it. That's true. 
Bathe the tip of the loaded spear in flames, making it a dangerously sharp spear and firearm. A charged strike of the spear will knock enemies down and consume them in a fiery blaze. Mmm, consummation. So blazing thrust with just a right trigger. Um, you can pull enemies back, just as before. Hold it for a leaping flame. Cleave through surrounding enemies. So it's AoE, sounds like. Mm. Yeah, let's get that, and then let's get this. I love that I just have the skill to do that. Yeah. Have I been learning from the master? <laughs> When you're not playing the game, the wolf is studying woodworking. Oh, they're going to night classes. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Spear. Leaping flame. I'm, I'm okay. I was going to use the ceremonial tonto, but let's not be cheap. I have like 300 emblems. 456 <laughs> in storage to be how exact. Did you, how did you get so many fucking emblems? Is that just from just killing peeps? Some of it's from killing people and sometimes it's like I have 4,000 coin, I don't want to lose it, I have nothing to spend it on so I just buy like 100 emblems. Damn. Yeah. Uh, let's throw sin. How many did you... Yeah. How many did it throw? Just one. Oh. Well, oh right, worse, it takes. Ah, oh, fuck. Why does it got spirit emblems? Isn't the money enough? <laughs> Brutal. Oops. Yes, yeah, so let's charge it up. Wait, was that a charge up? You know, I think it said it changes how much it shoots based on how much money you have. So I think you, I guess you just can't control how much money it throws. You just need to have more if you want it to throw more. Oh. Hold. For raining money, scatter a large amount of sin. It varies depending on how much is in your possession. Yeah, so it's not doing any different because I have so little. Yeah. I wonder how much damage just like one does. Doesn't seem like it'd be very powerful. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Just one press. That's cool. Hold it down. That was very Damn. cool. Very fast, too. I think the cleave was pretty slow, kind of spinning around. This is like, charge up, charge up. Games are about feeling powerful and you getting your way. Yeah. Alright, let's give the dry and fresh thingies to the divine child of retrib retribution. That's right. So they can become a cradle. All that sounds great. Yeah.